Our next guest is a local comedian, actor, and content creator with some upcoming shows at Tommy T's Comedy Club in Pleasanton. Here to chat about his next performance and new material is Hannibal Thompson. Hannibal, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, super, super excited that we got to do this one last time. Right, right, right. <laughs> so much fun. Now, before we get into your performance that's coming up at Tommy T's, mm -hmm. we first have to talk about some of your viral videos. Right. If people follow you on social media, they've probably seen some of these videos. Yeah, especially Niner fans. Especially the Niners fans. Yeah. Tell me about this content that you created. <laughs> um, I'm a big Niner fan because I'm born and raised here in, in the Bay Area in San Francisco. Yeah. Um, and as the season goes on, like I think two years ago, I started every time the 49ers win a game, mm -hmm. I go into my character, All American P, where I put the wig and glasses on and I do a dance to E-40's Bang Bang Niner Gang song. Yeah. So, um, and I started this like right after like we win a game, but if we lose, we're actually looking at it right, right. now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right after we won an NFC Championship game. Yeah. So, I do it when we lose too. So as I started doing them, I did it once, and I collaborate with E40. Mm -hmm. So I post it on Instagram, and it goes on my page and his page, and they just started loving them. You know what I'm saying? You know what our football fans is, yes. especially Niner fans. They're so wild about about the fans. So wild about the fans. <laughs> so it started picking up a lot of steam and a lot more steam and then the Niners invited me to the game mm -hmm. to come to the game and do some content at the game uh, with the mascot oh, and cool. stuff. It was dope. Yeah, we lost. That's when we played the Bengals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we lost to the Bengals. But um, they've been great though and I do, I've been doing it for the last few years and they've been, I did one when we beat the Eagles in December this past, this past year. <laughs> that, no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> that one was super viral. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it's great, though. And the one, of course, we made the Super Bowl. So the, those, those videos, I'll continue to do those, too. No question. Yeah, so much fun. So they can definitely find a lot of your content on your social media pages. Yeah, on my Instagram, yeah. Yeah, but you're also a stand-up comedian. You're yes. making waves. You, you've been doing this. This is your thing. And mm -hmm. now you are performing at Tommy T's. Yep. What, what can people expect from this upcoming performance? Um, we just have, I, 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 I like to call it a comedy party. Mm, okay. Yeah, and like why? Why is it a comedy party? Because we have so much fun while we laughing, man. <laughs> you know, I'm not the I'm the silly comedian. Okay. Now, I'm gonna be very silly. I'm uh, have fun. Like I said, uh, we're gonna dance. We're gonna all that. I'm not too much of the comedian who are gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna make you think. Okay. I'm not gonna get into serious like politics yeah. and race and no, man. I'm just gonna have a bunch of fun. When you leave that show, you're like, whew, I had fun. <laughs> it's like black people dancing in church. Yeah, we're gonna, we gonna have fun. I love that. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, Definitely. so they can come to your, when they come to Tommy T's, tell me the dates and the times so they can check you out. Um, This weekend, Friday, tomorrow, 7.30, and then um, I believe Saturday, 7.30 and 9. 45, I believe, too. And then Sunday, 7.30. Okay, so three shows. Four shows. Four. Four shows. Oh, four. Got it. Three days, four shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to have a, a, a funky good time. We're going to have a funky good time. Yeah, you heard it here first, party. Yeah, everybody. Ex exactly. Now, on top of the content creating that you do on social media, you're a stand-up comedian. Mm -hmm. You also have your own podcast. Just came out. Yes. Talk to me about the podcast. Uh, yes, uh, me and my co-host, uh, Sir Hans uh, Street Food. Yeah, uh, you my, had him on the show. Yeah, you had him on the show. Yes, yeah. that's my co-host. Um, I started it last year. Um, it's called a Disclaimer Podcast uh, on my YouTube, on Hannibal Thomas on my YouTube page. Um, and we just talk about, it's real, we talk about, it's a comedy podcast. So we talk about everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything <laughs> and everybody, the culture, you know, what's going on uh, in the world. You know, we're in a content world today. We really are. So you have to, content is like TV now. Mm -hmm. So you have to give people, I'd like to give my fans as much as content it's possible, you know, mm -hmm. along with my live stand-up shows, of course. But the podcast is a space to where, you know, you're like, you're, you're a host, so yeah. it's a space where you, re it's like your space, your personal space. Mm -hmm. It's like your second home where you just relax and just have a conversation, mm -hmm. you know, we, and we just doing it on camera now. Exactly. We do it at the barbershop, you know. <laughs> we are going to yeah. at home about the football game and about this and what happened on the internet or this TV show. So why not do it, like, on a podcast so the fans can enjoy us doing it, you know, uh, yeah. uh, on camera. And I love that, too. I love how you've adjusted so much. Something that you said was very interesting. You're like, hey, the world is changing. Like, at the end of the day, I'm a content creator, so my fans just want to see more content. How have you been able to adjust in terms of social media posting? Also, uh, you're just multi-talented. How have you been able to adjust in that way? Well, I started stand-up comedy 14 years ago, so right before social media really took off. Okay. But I'm a strong believer, and you gotta move with the times. You know, I started 14 years ago in stand-up, but I can't do the same thing I was doing 14 years ago That's today. True. You know, so you have to move the times. I had to get with YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and 
uh, X, Twitter, you know, and so everything, TikTok. I am really was late on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. But I'm on TikTok now big time, and, you know, TikTok is fun. You have to just move with the times or, or you'll get left behind, you know? You, it usually, as a comedian, we used to build fan bases, like, from TV shows in the 90s, Martin, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, stuff like that. Those are still around, but the internet is just bigger than everything now. So it's true. you just have to move with the times, man. I, just, I like to work. I enjoy it, so I don't call it work, so I like, because I enjoy it, of course. That's amazing. So one final time, the date and the times for your upcoming performance at Tommy T's. Uh, this weekend, um, April 12th through the 14th, Friday, starting Friday, 7.30, uh, 9. 9.45 and 7.30 on Saturday, and then 7.30 on Sunday. So three nights, four shows. I'll be headlining at Tommy T's in Pleasant. Man, well, I know it's going to be a good time, a yes. comedy party, like you said. Yes, Lord. We're thank gonna have you fun. so much. We appreciate it, Hannibal. Uh, thank you for having me. Of course. Mm -hmm.